Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 31. At the same time, says Yahuwah, will I be the Elohim of all the families of Yashara'el, and they shall be my people. Thus says Yahuwah, the people which were left on the sword found grace in the wilderness. Rather, left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Yashara'el, when I went to cause him to rest. Yahuwah has appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built, a, O virgin of Yashadael. You shall again be adorned with your tabrets, and shall go forth in the dances of them that make merry. You shall yet plant vines upon the mountains of Shamaron. The planters shall plant and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the Natsraim, rather Nats, Natsarim, upon Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Sion, unto El Yahuwah Eloheinu. For thus says Yahuwah, Sing with gladness for Yaakov, and shout among the chief of the nations, Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Yahuwah, saveth your people, eth the remnant of Yashara'el. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coasts of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child and her that travails with child together. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Yashara'el, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of Yahuwah, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, he that scattered Yashara'el will gather him and guard him as a shepherd his flock. For Yahuwah has redeemed Ath Yaakov and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Sion and shall flow together to the goodness of Yahuwah for wheat and for wine and for oil, and for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their soul shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together, for I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them, and will make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satiate the soul of the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied at with my goodness, says Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah, a voice was heard in, in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Raquel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children, because they were not. Thus says Yahuwah, refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for your work shall be rewarded, says Yahuwah, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in your end, says Yahuwah, that your children shall come again to their, to their own border. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thus, you have chastised me, and I was chastised as a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Turn me, and I shall be turned, for you are Yahweh, Elohai. Surely after that I was turned, 
I repented, and after that I was instructed, I smote upon my thigh. I was ashamed, yea, even confounded, because I did bear the reproach of my youth. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For since I spoke against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore my heart is troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, says Yahweh. Set you up waymarks, make you high heaps. Set your heart toward the highway, even the way which you went. Turn again, O virgin of Yashadael, turn again to these your cities. How long will you go about, O you backsliding daughter? For Yahuwah has created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashadael. As yet they shall use eth this speech in the land of Yahuda, and in the cities thereof, when I shall bring again their captivity. Yahuwah bless you. O habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. And there shall dwell in Yahudah itself and in all the cities thereof together husbandmen and they that go forth with flocks. For I have satiated the weary soul and I have replenished every sorrowful soul, rather sorrowful soul, Upon this I awoke and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will sow at the house of Yashadael and at the house of Yahudah with the seed of man and with the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy, and to afflict. So will I watch over them to build and to plant, says Yahuwah. In those days they shall say no more, the fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. But, rather, Every man that eats the sour grape, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will cut a renewed covenant with the eth house of Yashadael and with the eth house of Yahudah. Not according to the covenant that I cut eth with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim, which hath my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them, says Yahuwah. But this shall be the covenant that I will cut with the eth house of Yashadael. After those days, says Yahuwah, I will put eth my Torah in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their Elohim and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man eth his neighbor and every man eth his brother, saying, No eth Yahuwah, for they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, says Yahuwah. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Thus says Yahuwah, which gives the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divides the sea when the waves thereof roar. Yahuwah Sevaoth is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, says Yahuwah, 
then the seed of Yashra'el also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus says Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Yashra'el for all that they have done, says Yahweh. Behold, the days come, says Yahweh, that the city shall be built to Yahweh. From the tower of Hananel unto the gate of the corner, and the measuring line shall yet go forth over against it upon the hill Garev, and shall compass about to Goatha'ah. And the whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes, and all the fields unto the brook of Kidran, unto the corner of the horse gate toward the east, shall be holy unto Yahweh. It shall not be plucked up nor thrown down any more forever.